Welcome to the Rubius Aquos channel, and this is your host, Qdoma. Alright. This is the issue that I'm going to talk about today. And I kept putting it off, and I'm doing it today. I'm basically doing how I'm feeling about the Spider-Man Homecoming and the Old Man Logan movie. First, I'm on, first thing I'm going to jump on. Before I go into anything else, I'm going to jump on this Spider-Man Homecoming. We all know that, you know, this new Spider-Man, he, de he debuted in Civil War. Don't get me wrong. I like Civil War for what it was. It was a great movie. It was cool and everything, you know. <clears throat> you know, I'm going <clears> to <throat> overlook the simple fact, you know. I know it wasn't exactly like the comic book, you know, but it, it was... I mean, it was pretty much a great, great movie, uh, in all. Now, the question, you, you know, you ask yourself is, okay, now, did Spider-Man have to be in that movie? No, not really. That was basically some little agreement, you know, with Sony and Marvel for, you know, whatever, for all intentional reasons. And, you know, he was there. And it was fine, but, you know... There's a lot of things in there that really did not add up with Spider-Man. I mean, the fact, one of the factors being is, you know, when they had Aunt May in there. I mean, oh my goodness, you know. I mean, don't get me wrong, Aunt May was looking good and everything, but as far as I know, you know, Aunt May doesn't look like that. That is not the Aunt May I know. You know, and, you know, I mean, that's fine. They wanted to do that, you know, and they, they got him... They had made him much more younger and all that crap. You know, that's that's fine. That's that's they stitch, that's what they want to do. And I see what they're trying to do. They trying to bring Spider Man into the main universe of all the other characters. They trying to merge him in there. Now, going into the, the homecoming thing, I I don't know. I'm just not really feeling it. It's you know, you know, aside from what do I think of the person playing Spider-Man? I don't know his name. I mean, he almost looks like Terry Maguire, uh, Terry Maguire, whatever the the when we first had the first Spider-Man movie. He looks like a clone of him. And from what I understand, the dude that played Iron Man, he's the one who picked the guy out. You know, and, you know, and I guess he just has power like that. He can just do that, and he's in the movie. I don't really see a point there for that, but, you know, once again, he's making the money, and that's what it is, and I guess they feel that they need him, or whatever the case may be, you know, he doesn't want to seem like he wants to play Iron Man, and he seems to be fine with just playing the Tony Stark character, and being in the Spider-Man, and I don't know, it's... It's a lot of things that don't, you know, it's just not working for me continuity-wise. I mean, I'm sure it's going to appeal to a certain demographic of the people. I heard that Mary Jane is black, you know, and I don't know. They, they got the vulture in there. I mean, he looks interesting, but still not feeling it for some reason. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. It's like, you know, last Spider-Man movie, that didn't, I wasn't feeling that. And I felt that, you know, I felt like they was just trying too hard. He really does. And that failed. That just went down the tubes. And, you know, in this right here, I, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't know where this is going to go. I really, I really don't know. You know, do I think I'm, do I think it's going to fail? I don't know. I really don't. I don't see myself going to the movie theater to go see it. You know, aside from that, you know, with the Spider-Man in general, I guess I feel that is a lately the whole Spider-Man just has gone in this whole, whole completely different direction. And I'm not just talking movie wise. And somewhat comic book wise, you know, they you know, Spider Man is kinda like Tony Stark, but not quite like Tony Stark. You know, I mean like I bought a comic not too long ago, some new Avengers, and you know, Spider Man, you know, he's in it. He still plays the role of Spider-Man, aside from having lots of money and cars and stuff. But I kind of miss when Spider-Man didn't have 
you know, when, when he didn't have all that stuff. Uh, I mean, sure, I could sit up there and say, well, you know, why don't they just do a movie with Spider-Man? But, you know, that might look kind of weird, taking all things in consideration, especially if nobody actually knows how all that came to be. You know, you would have to go all the way back for all these comic books from, you know, to Superior Spider-Man and, you know, when Doc Ock, you know, you know, took control of Spider-Man's body. You had to go through all that just to get to that point to figure out, you know, how it got to got to that point. And don't get me wrong. The stories would led into that are great. They are great stories. Is this. Is this is this like where it is now with with Spider Man? You know, I guess to a certain degree, you know, I don't hate Spider Man, but I've just kind of like this overall Spider Man stuff. I'm just kind of like right now. I'm just kind of in chill mode with that right now. I'm just like, eh, you know, right now I don't see anything that I'm feeling with Spider Man. Period. Comic book wise, movie wise, you know, is this the direction? In my mind, it I just don't feel, you know. I mean, maybe it's because I'm just a little old fashioned. Don't get me wrong. I'm for all, you know, for new concepts and stuff. You know, I, you know, I'm for that. That's it's not that I'm against it, you know. But I guess I'm just not feeling this particular concept of it. You know where where they're going with it. I mean, you know, they've decided to have a younger Spider Man. You know, I don't think they need to do to go back to him being a kid. And, you know, I don't I don't you know, I, I don't know if that's just to make him more kid friendly to appeal to this that demographic or teenagers or whatever. I feel we need a fully adult Spider-Man that's fully established within the Marvel Universe currently. You know, you don't have to have, a, per se, an origin story. We've already gone over origin stories. If you want to, you can have flashbacks with that. I mean, that's, you know, that's fine. That's what we need. We need a fully established Spider-Man with all his abilities and everything. We don't need, I don't feel we need to go back. Because I feel that's the problem. We just, you know, we're going back. I mean, there's nothing wrong with going back a little bit. You know, and going you going back with some things. But I guess what gets me is, you know, with so much information and so much stuff you have as far as source material. I don't know why people just don't dive into dive into the source. No, I'm not asking for it to be exact, complete exact, but it's like I feel to a certain degree that, you know, you, you got some of these producers, directors, whatever. Everyone has their own vision to the degree is like they completely don't care about no source material. They just want to just make whatever they make and they don't care how it turns out. You know, if it's crap, it's crap. You know, they'll just go and move, move on to the next thing. I mean, I feel like that a lot with, with certain stuff. You know, and I, you know, I know it's it's a shame that, that that's the way it is, but you know, but once again, we'll see how this goes. You know, I don't, I'm like, I'm not thinking anything about it. You know, any of y'all go see it, that's fine, it's cool. You know, I'm not hating on it. I'm just not feeling it. Just you know, it's not. I'm not gonna pay my good heart or money to go see that movie. That's that's just how I'm feeling about. It. Spider-Man, everything to Spider-Man really. I still like Spider-Man. Don't get me wrong. I don't hate Spider-Man. I just don't like the directions it's going in right now. I just feel some things just need to, you know, some things, some things just need to change with that. Um, going into the old man Logan now. What's my thoughts about that? Uh, Wolverine stuff. Oh, I don't. Uh, what can I say? It's 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 scary scary business i mean you know the guy that plays wolverine i thought this was going to be the last thing or last whatever he was going to do i thought he was not going to be wolverine but you know i had a conversation with friends and someone said oh you know hugh jackman i guess what whoever the name or whatever he yes oh he's the face of wolverine if someone put if they put somebody else up in there you know it would screw it all up that's why he's in all the wolverine movies that's why he's in all the x-men and they doing old man logan until they can figure something out 
And I was like, damn, I guess they must be pretty desperate because they feel they can't go in no other direction than this. You know, I mean, it's bad enough that, you know, you got old man Logan running around in the regular Marvel Universe in the comic books. You know, I mean, technically Wolverine's supposed to be dead, dead. This is does not help it. You know, it's just like the original Wolverine is encased in Adamantium somewhere. That is like, you know, I'm like, I said, if you're going to kill off a character, and this is an issue I made, I said, I expressed to someone, I said, just kill him off. Don't have clones of him running around. Don't have future versions around. If they're dead, let them be dead. Plain and simple. Just let them be dead. You know? It doesn't, you know, it... It... I feel... Sometimes I feel people use it as a crutch. I'll be right back. I gotta check on my food for a second. I'm back. All right. Basically, what I'm saying is, when it comes to certain things, this in general, it's, I mean, it's one thing to have characters in your universe. But, you know, it's another thing is, like, when you, I, I feel, I guess what I'm feeling is, I feel like, you know, when you become established, and you have a particular thing that you rely on, that's one thing. But then when you put the, and then you rely on that thing so much, it becomes a weakness or a crutch, as I was saying. And you know, that's what I feel like with Marvel. You know, Marvel, there's like they're so hung up on what they're on, it's like they just can't let it go. It's just like, okay, you know, oh we you know, we got Wolverine, we're gonna kill them all, but then we're gonna do this old man. Old Lang Molin was fine for Secret Wars. He was fine in his own universe until they crossed him over in here. You know, it was just like kind of pointless. How am I supposed to miss a character if you give me an alternate reversion, an alternate version of him? You know, it's you know, it makes no sense. I feel sometimes from a perspective, like, you know, in my mind that, you know, if they literally like if they just killed the character off and they didn't have no versions of them, none, none whatsoever. In my mind, I feel like sometimes, like, you know, like, literally, they just wouldn't be able to cope with it. They wouldn't be able to deal with it. Or maybe they would feel they would just lose too much money, you know. As I, I Sometimes I think, yeah, maybe that's what it is. It's a money thing, you know. It's like, or, you know, this is this is toy sale or a toy sale thing. I don't know. I don't really know all the logistics was really behind this or, well, you know, the, the government force, you know, it's like, I understand there are certain popular things out there, but the thing about it is, if you are confident in your, in, in you know, in your, in your thing, you should be able to go outside the box in that, I guess, in that regards. I mean, I'm looking at all aspects here, aside from, you know, the movies and stuff. I just feel, that's just how I feel about it. You know, and going back to the, you know, Old Man Logan, I mean, I don't know if any of y'all have, that have seen the trailers to Old Man Logan. It is very in question, because the thing about it is, here's what gets me, you know. I mean, I don't know how they're going to pull, how, what, how they're going to do this, because for anyone that has been watching, like, the new X-Men movies and stuff, and it's like, okay, you got Logan there, then you got Old Man Logan. There are some people, you know, some people, they're going to they gonna look, they're going to be asking themselves, they're going to be like, well, okay, what the hell is up with that? You know, it's just like, here it is, you got, you know, when we, when last time, the last X-Men movie that they did, where they did, like, I guess, you know, they had Professor Xavier, you know, X-Men Future Past. That was supposed to be the closing for that aspect of X-Men. And everything kind of just rebooted itself. You know, that was supposed to just, like, tie up the loose ends. And, you know, I thought pretty much after that, that was going to just be it. We wasn't going to have any more, you know, 
oh, you know, n you know, no more Wolverine. Well, that particular, the person that was playing Wolverine, we wasn't going to see him or whatever. And then, you know, they came out with the new X-Men. And then we, then, you know, it was like, you know, I looked at, I looked at that. And, you know, I was like, oh, okay, you know, and I was just like, I guess I was just kind of like, I guess when the, the, with the apocalypse thing, you know, it was, it had some cool, it had some, some cool aspects to it. I, I guess, I guess there was some things that I have scratching my head on. I was like, damn, you know, what's the name is still in here? You know, what's, what's going on? And I just... You know, I, I'm just, it just left me kind of baffled. And then now I see this thing with the old man Logan, and this is going to make things more equally confusing. Because the thing about it is, is, you know, the question is, is, is this the same reality? Is this a different reality? You know, like, how the hell is Xavier even freaking still alive? You know, X-23 is like a little kid, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's like, that's, you know, that doesn't, you know, that doesn't make, that doesn't make no sense to me. None of it makes any sense at all. Like, like what happened to all the X-Men? How the hell, you know, how did that lead to that? Is that X-Men Future Past, like part two in disguise? You know, I just, I don't know. It's screwing up, it's screwing up people's, you know, what people are trying to keep up with. You know, it, it really is, you know, that movie, it, you know, that's just like the, the Wolverine movies, you know, that right there, you know, they didn't really do very well. You know, we want a real Wolverine movie. You know, if you really want to compliment the character, y'all need to go to the damn source material. Stop making stuff up as you go along. It's just not working, you know. And this, like I said, going back to this old man Logan thing, okay, I granted it is popular. You know, people like the, the, the character... And, you know, but the only thing I can say is, you know, there's really not much difference between him and regular Wolverine. He's just older. You know, it's, it's, you know, it's, he's just Wolverine with gray hair. You know, he's a more seasoned Wolverine. You know, I mean, like, geez, you know, I don't know. I just don't understand. I really don't, I just really just don't understand. I understand he's popular, but you know, I mean, if you're going to kill a character off, kill him off. Don't have alternate versions running around. And then, you know, I'm going to say this too. Something else I'm going to also throw in. You know, for the last couple of years, going back with the X-Men franchise, I mean, I hate to say it, but Wolverine seemed like he is like the only character with the most focus on. Like the other characters... Seem like they're just there. They really don't have no significance. You know, they, they, you know, like, they, they do, but they don't, you know, it, it's like, I, I don't know, I, I hate to say that, but, you know, it's like, character development is very important when you do these, when you do movies like this. It is very important. And, you know, when you focus more on one character than the other, and you don't develop the other characters, it's kind of, it kind of has like a lackluster feel to it. It just, you know, it's like, it's just kind of just like saying, well, you know, the rest of the people in there, you know, they can do stuff, but, you know, they're just really not that important. They just there, and this is the main person, you know. It don't matter. It don't matter if the simple fact that, okay, you know, Xavier, Xavier's leader of X-Men, or a Cyclops is like in Second of Man, and then you maybe got Storm or something. That junk don't matter. It don't matter, you know, because if the focus is, is on who's more popular, you know, it's just like, it, you know, it kind of kills the whole thing. You know, I feel that, you know, all the characters deserve just as much. I feel as far as attention as... The popular ones. I mean, like, you know, the ones that get a lot of attention. And, uh, you know, now certain ones, now certain characters, that'd be a different story if you if, if you was doing a movie about this that one character. And, you know, sure, you want to focus on that character. You know, you, know, you want to make sure, you know, you tell everything you need to tell. If there are other characters 
dealing with that character, you want to let them know what the relationship is with that character and how it's affecting that the the main character, you know. That you know that I would understand, but when you have a group of characters, you want to be able to have plenty enough development within the characters where it's like all other characters complement each other. Not where your main focus is still this on just the one character just because he's popular. But, you know, that's just me on that. I mean, so, I mean, this, like I said, this has pretty much been my take with the, like I say, with the whole old man Logan thing. You know, it's, like I said, I'm not feeling it. I feel it's just literally throwing stuff in disarray, especially with continuity. You know, it's bad enough we got the whole time travel thing. And, you know, that gets kind of confusing to a certain degree because, you know, you wonder like, oh, well, you know, they ain't done this. You know, they ain't rebooted everything. But now you got this old man Logan. Where the hell is, where the hell did that come from? You know, that, you know, now, now something else you got to explain altogether, you know, because that just kind of, just kind of came out of nowhere. You know, something to think about. But, you know, that's my pretty much, that's my words on that. And, you know, have fun watching the movies. I'll see y'all at the movies, you know. I mean, I'm going to tell you now what movies I'm going to go see. I am looking forward to, you know, the Infinity Gauntlet movies, you know, the next Avengers and Guardians of the Galaxy and, of course, Hopefully the DC movies will be just as good. You know, looking forward to the Wonder Woman. Definitely looking forward to the um, what is it? The uh, the Justice League movie. Looking forward to that. I hope it doesn't suck. You know, I was looking at trailers for that. You know, I was like, hey, where the hell is Superman at? But um, uh, all that all being said, you know. Have a good one, you know. Try not to take comments too personally. Mind you, this is no more than my mere opinion. And, you know, opinions are opinions. And that's what it is. And try to be totally excellent to each other. And just be cool. Thank you.